The release of Spider-Man 2 is just around the corner and Insomniac Games have kindly gifted us the trophy list 20 days early, which is pretty cool. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the trophy list for Spider-Man 2, give you my thoughts. In a nutshell, looks pretty similar to the first one. Looks nice, easy, chill. It looks like we're gonna be in for a good time with the game and the trophy list. So some overviews of the actual trophy list, there's gonna be 42 trophies in total. I've broken it down into four categories. We've got story slash side missions, we've got open world stuff, we've got combat related trophies, and we've got upgrades. So there's 15 story related trophies, which are gonna be either tied to the main game or tied to some sort of side mission, which obviously we don't know about yet. 15 for the open world, seven combat related trophies, and four upgrade related trophies. I've hid the trophies, which are story related, so there'll be no spoilers for the actual story for the game just the combat and the open world and all that extra stuff so don't worry about spoilers i get you back all right we've got the trophy list here the platinum trophy is called dedicated so it has no reference to any sort of spider-man theme and by looks of it the trophy list doesn't actually look too hard so i don't think you actually have to be dedicated to actually get this platinum trophy but you know, whatevs. So it's not only going to be Manhattan in this game, there's going to be other boroughs outside of the main island, which is pretty cool. So the first trophy is superior for completing 100% all of the districts. So, you know, collectibles, side missions, combat stuff. Just, I imagine it'll be similar, exactly the same as the first game. So we've got one for finishing the main story, which is obviously, I imagine you can work that one out. We have trophies tied to upgrading the suits and upgrading all the gadgets just like the first one so that's kitted out and to the max as like i said i've hidden the story related trophy so you won't see what those are and amazing for reaching max level which is 60 now i'm pretty sure it was 30 wasn't it in the first game off the top of my head so twice as long it's gonna be interesting to see how that balances because we know we're gonna have miles and peter so their level it must be concurrent i imagine they must level up together we then got some trophies for completing fnsm requests and an emf experiments we obviously don't know what they are yet but it'll be something in the open world i imagine it's darn pretty easy We've then got some combat ones, so evolved Venom abilities and Spider Arm abilities, which sound pretty cool. I'd be interested to know if they're both for Miles or Spider Arm sounds like it could be for Peter. I do think after looking at this that there's going to be Peter with the symbiote and Peter without the symbiote. as like completely different, maybe different skill trees. I'm not sure yet on that one. So we've got some stealth takedowns from the web line, so you can deploy a web line, walk across anywhere in the map, which is or anywhere in the combat situations, which is pretty cool. We've then got some for completing tricks, 30 tricks in a row without touching the ground. That will be so easy because... I don't think I ever touched the ground when I, was, when I was actually up in the air. I don't think I ever touched the ground. Around the bases at Big Apple Baller Stadium, which is probably like just like Avengers Tower. You know, pretty easy. Using only your web wings glide from Financial District to Astoria, which is actually really cool. Now, I don't know if Peter's going to have the web wings or if it's just Miles. The web wing does sound really, really cool. So I'll be interested to see how that works. And then we've just got some tech ones. Find tech stashes, get 10,000 tech parts. They'll be for upgrading your suits, I imagine. Some photo ops, which are just, again, be trophies within the world. And that's really it. Like I said, I've hidden the 15 or 16 story-related trophies, which you know you're going to get as you go through the story, so you don't need to be told about them. There's no New Game Plus trophy, which, unlike Miles Morales, the game is a godsend. Miles Morales was a short game, and that still added seven or eight hours to the actual Platinum trophy. It looks very, very similar to the first one. I'm not even going to lie about it. Which I think is actually a good thing because I don't want to have my Spider-Man experience completely ruined with some, I don't know, some very difficult trophy. But I kind of think most people knew who had the Platinum for the first game that this was going to be very similar. Like I said, there's no New Game Plus, which means I imagine that will come in DLC form at some point. Probably some DLC as well, at some point as well. I'm okay with it. There'll probably be a, there might be a trophy for completing the game on like the hardest difficulty as DLC as well. I'm okay for that as well because I think it means people can get the Platinum Trophy who just want to spend probably 30 to 40 hours playing the game at their own difficulty at their own pace and those who want to test themselves a little bit more you can do it on the DLC and you're not tied to getting the action and it's not tied to the Platinum Trophy so it, it actually kind of works for both. I know a lot of people didn't like the new game plus I mean I, I do get it because it adds long, longer to the game but as someone who loves goddamn Spider-Man I'm not opposed to extra trophies making me play the game again. I think looking at this trophy list, I don't know how long the game is going to be, obviously. I'm going to say I think the Platinum will probably be between, similar to the first game, between 40 and 50 hours. Maybe 35 and 50 hours, and I think it'll probably be difficulty again. There's no difficulty-based trophies, so 3 out of 10. Depends on the difficulty you play it. What are your thoughts on the trophy list? Are you hyped for Spider-Man? Are you getting it at launch? I would love to know. And that's all for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.